So in one could say you disappear as a person, but you are there very powerfully as a presence. You disappear as a person temporarily, but in a very powerful way, the, the, there is a presence which you cannot define. And there's, you then access this dimension that is one way of putting it, it's pure, pure power, pure intelligence. All, anything created arises out of that. And as you invite that into your life, it can and will transform even the way in which you live as a person. And that happens without you thinking that you need to transform yourself. A transformation happens even to the person, although the person obviously will always have certain limitations. You, you, you are good at this, but you're not good at that, and so on. The person obviously cannot be perfect. There's always certain characteristics that, that define a person. It has form. That's understood. But that dimension, as you access that, flows into the conditioned entity that we call the person and can even can use the personal mind and express itself through that. In other words, Inspiration can happen, will happen more easily. Intuition happens more easily. A creative ability develops more easily. Obviously, you need to have some mastery, some expertise in some fields, then it can, the, this creative energy from the trans, the unconditioned realm of, of being or consciousness can flow into what you do and transform and empower it. Of course, you need to already, it, uh, in the case of activity, you need to have already developed something that it can flow into. In my case, it, it cannot flow into uh, becoming a fantastic uh, swimmer or tennis player. It's not going to happen. It's not going to empower me on that level. And it's too late for that. <laughs> Nor is it going to come up in me with the, uh, it's, uh, the creative realization, finding the, the unified field theory in physics that Einstein, Einstein, Einstein unsuccessfully looked for, the unified field theory, it's not going to come through this mind because the, the mind, this is, this is not, it, it has not developed the, that particular avenue through which spirit or consciousness could express itself creatively. But it is expressing itself creatively through these words. So not through nuclear physics or sports, it can in, in, in the case of this particular person it can, or, or uh, whatever it may be, but where people develop the great new, like Elon Musk, great, some great 
the, the, the latest thing about electric cars or whatever, I'm not going to be able to do that. This, this is not how the creative energy can express itself through me, nor, through, nor I'm going to be, be a great dancer. <laughs> it's much too late for that too. <laughs> but you might. Or it might not be express itself in any of those ways too. It is possible that the as as you access that dimension, the power of now, as you access that dimension within yourself, it may not even express itself through some creative endeavor. It could be something else. It could be the way in which you relate to other humans changes it affects everybody that you come in contact with. Perhaps you carry on with an ordinary activity and yet a new energy comes into that. Let's say, let's say you have the simplest possible job. Uh, let's say you're at a, <laughs> at, a, at a toll bridge where you have to pay I, this came to mind just now because some time ago I was at a, a toll bridge where you have to, you drive there, you have to pay to use the road. It's toll, it's called. So you have to stop the car and there's a man in a little, or a woman in a little booth and he or she says, one dollar please, or whatever, and then you give. And I, there was one, I don't remember where it was, that person was, everybody felt better after paying the one dollar because she was so present and there was an energy flowing through her that every every person who went through, I imagine, must have felt better because of because that, that brief interaction, there was a, an outflow of loving kindness, meta loving kindness that comes out of this another way in which presence then manifests itself in this dimension. I've already mentioned creative things, creative endeavor can empower many things that you do, or it may just uh, manifest itself as what we could call loving kindness that flows through you as you go about your normal business. Perhaps you haven't developed any particular avenue through which presence could express itself creatively, whatever it may be, sports, dance, science, musical instrument, uh, all the various things. Maybe you haven't developed, maybe you, maybe you could still develop it or not. It doesn't matter. In some way, presence will use you as a channel and then something will flow through you into this dimension. And it could be just uh, your presence itself can be a powerful uh, tool of transformation in this dimension so that this loving kindness flows through you into this world that affects everybody you come into contact with so who knows how this will transform your, your, the way in which you experience life, but it, it will transform it. So when you bring together the human and the being, instead of just being a human, it's not enough being a human. It's a terrible fate if you only know yourself as a human. You have, in other words, zero self transcendence. You are trapped in this limited little self. And even the big egos, the little, little selves. If the egos, there are some people who seem to have achieved much in this world to, only through 
having a huge ego, that is possible, but the achievements are, are really uh, not achievements at all because they make countless people unhappy. So there's no point in building up some huge enterprise. And while you, you're doing it, you, you're not only unhappy yourself, you make everybody else unhappy too. That does not transform this world. 